Today I'm going to take you on a tour of Abbeville, South Carolina. Where, you might say? Where? Great question. It's not near anything. It's south of Charlotte, North Carolina, west of Columbia, South Carolina, and east of Atlanta, Georgia. The town played a key role during the Civil War, and I'll cover some of that and then take you on a tour of one special business in Abbeville. Let's get started. Let's start with the Civil War information. Abbeville is often referred to as the birthplace of the Confederacy because it was where the idea of secession was first openly discussed. In November 1860, a meeting known as the Secession Convention was held in Abbeville to discuss the possibility of South Carolina seceding from the Union in response to Abraham Lincoln's election as president. This meeting set the stage for the secession movement across the southern states. Abbeville is also remembered as the deathbed of the Confederacy. In the Burke Stark House, President Davis finally admitted, all indeed is lost. In a meeting on May 2nd, 1865, Davis was convinced by his generals and cabinet that the Southern resources were exhausted and that any attempt to fight another campaign would merely bring more misery to the region. Abbeville is a city within Abbeville County. The city population is about 5,000. High school sports is definitely a big deal here. Visiting downtown, there's a city square with the courthouse and many other historical buildings. The courthouse was built in 1908 and has listed it on the National Register of Historical Places. The city square is surrounded by historical buildings that reflect the town's rich history. These buildings include shops, restaurants, offices, and other establishments that contribute to the square's vibrant atmosphere. The city square serves as a gathering place for various community events throughout the year. These events may include farmers markets, festivals, concerts, parades, and holiday celebrations, bringing residents and visitors together. I promised that I'd do a focus on a specific business in Abbeville. I chose WZLA Radio. With the evolution of internet radio, Spotify, and all the other options, we can really pick any station to listen to from anywhere in the world. I chose this radio station, WZLA, in Abbeville, South Carolina. One thing that really attracted me to the station was a Saturday afternoon radio personality, the Silver Fox. He had travel stories of his country music touring days. Love those stories. I also got to meet Brother Bill, who's on Sundays from 1 till 5. Each day on the morning show, they use the title from a famous Robin Williams movie. Benji, the station owner, and I are going to demonstrate it for you now. Good morning, Vietnam! He also gave me a short reach out to the, uh, the people in Wisconsin, and here it is. Hey guys, this is Benji with the Southern Fried Morning Show on WZLA 92.9 FM here in Abbeville, South Carolina. I just wanted to say a big hello to all our listeners back in Wisconsin. Man, that's really cool. Halfway across the country and uh, super excited for you guys to tune in. And uh, keep on tuning in with us, WZLARadio.com, all of the apps. Just look up WZLA and uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in. That wraps up my visit to Abbeville. If you get the chance, this town is definitely worth a day trip. Lots of good history to learn. Thanks to the radio station for hosting me. I'll catch up with you online. If you click the more button below, I'll leave some photo links and links to the places that I have visited in Abbeville. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button and you can catch the next Randy tale.